All right, guys, today is gonna be a special video, all right? And why is it special? And it's because I'm gonna be making pants of my own design. Finally, let's go. And I'm nervous. <laughs> I dropped some stuff, you know? I dropped some designs, but I never wanna put it out there because I never feel like it's good enough. But it's, I'm tired of feeling that way. We gotta just do it, you know what I mean? You never know unless you try type thing. So we're gonna do it. Now, what I drew, now these pants here, I'll just show you guys right now. Boom, here's the front side. Focus camera. Here's the front side. Got some succulents happening. There's some holes, which are going to be distressing. Yeah. Here's the back side. Is it better this way or this way? Yeah. Here's the back side. A lot of vines and more succulents. They're popping out the pockets and stuff like that. Um, so obviously, my inspiration was succulents. Now I plan on making all of these plants out of like patchwork stuff, similar to the capital ones there. So basically gonna be using the same fabric I used to make those pants and so these pants. So all of this is gonna be patchwork. Um, so I'll probably call this like the succulent patchwork pants. It's another word for succulent or plant, botanical. Ooh, botanical patchwork pants. That sounds cool. But I'm really excited for this backside. I think this one turned out really cool. Please focus. With all these vines, whatever, going down the panel leg, I think that's really dope. But I'm excited to get started, so let's get into it. Today, we're gonna be working on a pair of Levi's 505s in a size 34, 32. And I'll be honest, they're probably my favorite pants to work on. The first thing we always gotta do is to deconstruct the jeans, but we're only gonna take apart the inseam and out seams, leaving the rest intact. Because the pants are succulent themed, it's only fitting to include the pots that you can put them in to complete the look. I decided to recreate them in the shape of the distressings so I can connect multiple techniques to form a whole picture. Once all the guidelines were drawn out, we can start distressing. Here I just distressed in my heart's content, not really following any rules other than staying within the boundaries I made. For the patch repairs, I used fabrics that were light colored so that they'll take the dye nicely, which we'll add in in a later step. I also used different kinds of fabric, denim, regular cotton t-shirts, again, as long as they're light colored. Once all the patches were in place, I added in darning stitches to secure them in and to make the pants look more roughed up. Now we can start the dyeing process. Using a paintbrush, I applied the dye on most areas of the pants to create a blotchy look. The main thing was to create a dirt smeared look rather than a completely solid color throughout. This way it'll kind of like emulate the ground or dirt, you know, plant related things. I then hung up the pants outside for about two weeks to let the sun do its thing to the pants. You heard that right, two weeks. For the succulent graphics, I originally wanted to add in patches similarly to the Capital DIY I did before, but I ended up deciding to just hand sew the plants instead, not really surprised. Now this project was my first true original design and I'd say I learned a pretty important aspect about myself when it comes to doing these DIYs. Most artists have techniques that they tend to naturally gravitate towards when working on projects, you know, things like patchwork or borrow or screen printing. And I think I realized what mine was while I was working on this project. And it's creating designs with running stitches. So not really hand sewing, just the look that comes from doing it. I don't know what it is, the look, the vibe it gives off. I always just end up falling back to it. But the process itself is really simple, but you know, very repetitive. Draw the guidelines in with white chalk pencil, sew it in, and repeat. I then added in some small details around the pants, and the pants were finished and were ready to be sewn back together. Thank 
Yo, they're done. Boom. They turned out a lot better than I thought they would. Like I said in the intro, I was really excited for these vines. And don't get me wrong, I think they're really dope. It's probably my second favorite thing, even though I messed up on this part right here. <laughs> but my favorite part, take a guess, obviously it's on the front, the sun. This looks so sick. Can you guys, all right, focus on this camera real quick, come on. That was actually my second attempt at creating the sun or sewing the sun, whatever. Um, originally, it was supposed to be like this big old circle right here and then put like the flames and stuff around it. I put the circle, I put like three of the flames and I was like, damn, that thing is ugly. <laughs> Took it out and I did this. So it's hidden behind the cloud a little bit. This is supposed to be a cloud, by the way. And then I got a bunch of straight stitches just going outwards. So sick. I think, I think, okay, I said before in this video, I found something about myself that I like about DIYs. I mean, what I like doing in DIYs. Another thing is, I think just the straight stitches, I'm like so simple, but like, I'm such a fan of just like simple straight stitches. Like all these like different curves and everything. It's cool and all, but personally, I just like the simple things, you know? Like it's, it's just simple and it looks good in my opinion. And I'm glad that I just decided to just hand sew the designs instead of adding in the patchwork. If I were to add in the patchwork, the whole ambiance, the vibe of it would be just completely different. And I think with the color of the stitches that I use along with the dye and everything, see it looks all dirty and stuff, with all the distressings and the darnings, like it all just flows well together. It mixes well together. Like nothing stands out more than something else, you know? They all just mix and match very well. What would I rate them? 11, 12 out of 10? Anything above 10 for sure. Now in my eyes, I don't think that these are perfect. There are a few mistakes that I did make, um, but regardless, still give them, you know, 11, 12 out of 10. But it's a start, you know, this is definitely a start and it's only up from here. I just learned from my mistakes, improve on it to make better pieces. Now the question is, what am I gonna make now? Um, and one thing that we can do as a community, you know, it could be like in the comments below or in my Instagram, DM me, some kind of inspiration. For example, these pants right here, succulent inspired. The next one could be about like, uh, like space, stars or something like that, or freaking a farm, animals, I don't know. We'll see, it could be like a little challenge um, that you guys can give me, ooh. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this video and you liked how the pants turned out, make sure to drop a like. Hit that subscribe button as well. I'd really appreciate it. Follow me on my Instagram at Julius Nathan. If you want to keep up to date with what I'm working on, I usually post updates on my story. If you guys want to get into this stuff or you guys are already into this stuff and you want to meet other people who are also into this stuff, join my Discord. Link to that in the description down below. But I see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.